hi and welcome back to my channel so today i'm just gonna talk about the three things that i didn't like on shaka ilembe the first one it was the ending oh my god i hated it and the reason behind me hating it is that when you look at the ending it just shows you that the story is incomplete now the main problem that i have is that once uh shaga ilembe season two is being produced again they're going to add a whole lot of things just to make sure that they remain at number one in terms of ratings so that can end up making the series lose its authenticity which is something that will be unfortunate so i really like it if a story is about a historic person for it to be completed preferably in one go so that they won't come back and you know try to put in new things just to make sure that they remain at number one because that would be so unfortunate and that has happened so many other times with certain stories which are being told about uh, historic figures the second thing that i did not like is the chemistry between uh nomza mumbata and senzo khadebe honestly there was no chemistry there and they're both good uh actors in their own right and i personally feel that usenzo khadebe that's the one part in his acting career M shy like it really really im trapile guys <laughs> there is no other way of putting it because he's a good actor but i just couldn't shake the feeling that in terms of uh being casted as usenza ngakhona he was casted there because of his body he has a beautiful body right but in terms of really embodying that role he he just fell flat you know and because the chemistry was so off between him and um nomza mombata i just kind of i i just couldn't connect you know but he tried he tried i suppose that in life you cannot always have the best performances because in comparison with the other actors you know uh lemo hang tiba was able to execute the role of being shaga zulu and um wise man mube he was excellent he was able to really execute the role of being uswide and uh who else who else who else uh he was able to also execute his role perfectly it's just that that character it fell flat and i feel that had they been chemistry between the two actors and that when the relationship between nandi and senza fizzled out it would have have been much more impactful and the third thing that I really didn't like about um, Shaga Ilembe is um, Mkabai. I just felt that Mkabai didn't get, you know, the 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 part that she deserved. You know, it, it, she felt like she was a shadow. I felt like she was a shadow within uh, the story of Shaga Ilembe because she wasn't that visible you know she was there she you know she was there she she narrated the story of shaga ilembe but i just feel that she deserved more of a presence and mainly because if you go into the story of mkabai you, you realize just how instrumental she was in the creation of Ushaga Zulu and also how she ultimately became the weapon that destroyed him. So I would have loved to see more of a visibility of Umkabai Gajama because within the story of Ushaga and within the Zulu nation, she 
played a very powerful and impactful role so that would have been nice but maybe since there are rumors that they might be uh, a season two coming up maybe just maybe they're just going to tell the story of Mkabai because i honestly believe that it should be told more and history has a way of you know downplaying uh females or female people especially with the rise of patriarchy so umkabai was really really you, you know I instrumental in building the zulus so i really would love to see more of her and that's why and actually the fact that she was like in the shadows you know i i, I didn't like that i really didn't like that you know and I will call this a bonus, um, you know, bonus thing. Uh, well, English is disappearing. But anyways, I would say the bonus thing that I would have liked to see in uh, Shaga Ilembe was, would have been the reference to um, Nguni deities, you know, because during the time of uh, Shaga Zulu, the Nguni people, essentially all of them collectively, they believed in the Nguni deities. Whom are the Nguni deities? Uh, that's your Nomkubulwane, that's your um, Velingagi, that's your Mlenze Monye, that's your Kulukulwane. I would have really, really loved to see that because some people generally don't know that uh, within the Nguni culture, they, we had our own deities, you know. It only uh, came into a distraction when uh, Christianity was introduced to our people. So that would have been nice. Anyways, those are the three things that I didn't like about uh, Shaka Ilembe. And then the fourth one was just a bonus for you guys. My name is Bulelo Mieni and thank you so much for joining me. Up until next time, don't forget to be a grounding flavor and have a beautiful, beautiful day.